where are their children? Where well, there's so much racket, there must be something out of kilter. I think twixt the Negroes of the South and the women of the North all talking about rights. You white men gonna be in a fix pretty soon. But what's all this here to talk about? That man over there said that women need to be helped into carriages and, and lifted over ditches and they had the best place everywhere. Nobody ever helped me into carriages or, or lifted me over mud puddles or give me any best place. And ain't I a woman? Look at me. Look at my own. I have plowed and planted and gathered into bones. And no man could head me. And ain't I a woman? I could work as much and eat as much as a man when I could get it. And I could better lash as well. And ain't I a woman? I have born 13 children. And I seen most of all of them been sold off into slavery. And when I cried out with my mother's grief, nothing but Jesus heard me. And ain't I a woman? <laughs> and, and then they, they, they talk about this little thing here in the head. What, what's it they call it? Uh, uh, intellect. <laughs> That's it, honey. What's that got to do with Negroes' rights or, or women's rights? If my cup won't hold but a pint and you won't hold a quart, wouldn't you be mean not to let me get my little half measure full? And then, <laughs> that, that little man over there in the back back there in the black, he say that women can't have as much rights as a man because Christ wasn't a woman. Where did your Christ come from? Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with it. If the first woman that God ever brought into the world could take this world and turn it upside down all alone, then all of these women's together ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. And now that they's asking to do it, the men better let them. Now I'm obliged to you for hearing me. And now old Sojourner, Ain't got nothing more to say.